Hi, welcome to the Master Chem 3D programming session. So in this session, I will teach you this kind of model programming. So first of all, I will show you that what I'm going to teach you. What is the topic? So the topic is 3D programming for milling. So the first topic is roughing in, in which I will show you that how we can do area roughing and uh, how we can do rest roughing. And the next topic is finishing. So in this, I will teach you water line for wall finishing. Raster for bottom finishing, equal scale up, that is for uh, floor finishing and uh, horizontal also for flat finishing. So these are all the things we will cover in this session. So let's start. So this is the 3D mold. This is cavity. So first of all, we will create stock model of this drawing. So we will go to the tool part tab. Here we will select stock model. So click on the stock model and here you can define the name of the stock model you can say uh, rough stock and here you can say select all solid and then ok so this is the stock model right so first we will we will create a roughing program for this area so we will go to the 3d programming and here you will get roughing strategy in which we will use area roughing for huge material removal right so click on the area roughing and then here you will get two parameters in that you have to define machining geometry and if you want to avoid any geometry so you can avoid that from here so we will select machining geometry and here we will select select entities and select all the models and then say okay and here you can leave stock for finishing so we will leave a point 0.2 of stock for finishing and point 0.1 stock for bottom finishing right so the next one is toolpath control here you can define the boundary chain here we will select containment boundary and then we will select this boundary as a containment boundary right so your tool will not uh, go your tool will not go uh, outside of this boundary so it will create program inside of this boundary only and then say ok so the next one is tool here you can define the tool I will select right click of mouse and then I will select create tool and here we will define bull nose cutter for roughing purpose so as you can see this is the bull nose end mill here click, click on this and give the diameter of the tool so we will use uh, this profile is actually not so much bigger so we will use uh, 10 r1 for roughing and then say next here we will give the feed rates you can make it uh, 2000 plunge rate 500 retraction rate 5000 and a spindle speed 2800 and then say finish you can you can customize these feed rates and uh, spindle speed and plunger as per as per your as per your tool grade and all and as per your material also and here you can define the holder so this is not so much compulsory uh, but if you want you can define from here and you can you can minimize the projection length of this tool so you can see now it is 100 mm so you can make it 50 mm or something and here you could define stock for rest machining. We are not doing rest machining, but uh, we have to uh, we have to define the stock model first one stock model. We have to define in this parameter. So here you have to say stock rest material one other operation. Click on the one other operation and select the stock model, which one we have created previously. So select on that. Now it is selected. You can see this is grain check, grain check, and here you can define uh, ignore small cusp. So it will it will uh, tool your tool will not go in this area to machine small cusp and all. So it will machine, uh, machine the rough material first. Here you can give the uh, stock as per your uh, wall stock and floor stock. So you can give it 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Uh, you can make it 0 0.2. Okay. So the next one is cut parameter. Here you have to define the depth of cut. I will give 0 0.2 of depth of cut, 0.2 mm. And here you have to define x, y step over. 
So make it 60%, no, 55%, that's fine. Okay, so you can see uh, this is x, y step over means uh, first it will create first pass and then second pass and then third pass, fourth pass. So like this it will create uh, uh, passes by using uh, 3 mm of step over. So this is the 55% of the tool. 3 mm, uh, th that is minimum and that is uh, this one is maximum. So 3 to 5.5. So the next one is transition. Here you can give a profile ramp. So when your tool will plunge in the material, so that time it will take uh, this type of ramping, ramping motion, ramping motion uh, passes. So uh, your uh, your tool life will increase. Okay. So here you can define the Z clearance. So how you, you can define the clearance that uh, suppose the, this is your Z zero. So you can you can give it uh, one mm above. So your tool your tool will start uh, one mm above from this phase. And here you can define the plunge angle. So I need plunge angle one degree. And here you can define the preferred profile length. So if the tool is tool diameter is uh, 10, so you can make it 14. So it will it will plunge it will plunge uh, in 14 mm of area. So that will be better. Here you can define the skip forward small time. So it means uh, if uh, if if this area is uh, smaller than is smaller than 12 mm and you are using 10 mm of end mill so you can define here uh, don't go in 12 mm of area right so your tool will not plunge in that area it will skip that area and it will machine only the bigger area and the next one is steep and shallow here you can define the minimum and maximum depth suppose this is a z0 so you have to, suppose you have to go from this phase to this phase so you can define the uh, value from this from this phase to this phase, but uh, this is completely closed profile, right? There is not uh, any through pocket and all, so you can make it closed. And uh, next one is linking parameter. Here you can define the clearance plane for safety. So you, your tool will retract like this. It will take 50 mm of retraction in every process. Here you can define the minimum vertical retract. So you, your tool will not retract every time. Uh, on the Z0 position, you can make it, uh, you can give 5000 of feed, so it will move rapidly from here to here, here to here, so it will save your uh, retraction time and all, and also it will save your uh, machining time, it will decrease the cycle time and all. Here you can give the vertical arc entry for a smooth entry, and you can define the vertical arc exit also for a smooth exit. And here you can define the arc filter and all this for working purpose. So he, I, here I will say a 0, 0.5, 0, 0.5 mm of uh, tolerance for working purpose, and then say okay. So as you can see, uh, processing is going on here. You can check it view multi-threading. So it will show you that uh, uh, how much it's done. So now you can see. I will click on this. So this is the complete tool path of roughing. Right. So uh, actually, we forgot to check the uh, what is the what is the length and width of this material. It is 127. That's fine. So we taken I think uh, 10 mm of end mill. So that is also good because it will cover all the all the areas, all the small areas also. So uh, we we don't need to create a most uh, multiple uh, rest roughing tool paths, right? So we, we will create only one or two rest wrapping tool paths. So it will remove all the small material from this cavity. So it was uh, it was roughing. So after this, we will go to the same tool path type, and here we will say stock model, and uh, create a stock after 10 end mill rough. So it's a reference. And here you can define. Uh, I will say uh, stock model. So it was our uh, initial stock, right? So we will define that. And here in the source operation, you can select the operation which you have done previously. So what what so what it will do? It will it will it will uh, it will understand that this is the initial stock. Means first one is the initial stock, and here in the source operation, it will understand that uh, this tool path. Has machined 
all these area and now it will create a new stock model in reference of this toolpath so i will click here okay and now you will see that how it will look like so processing is going on here you can uh, see in multi-threading so it's done wait for some seconds So it is creating a STL file, complete STL file. It's like a solid model. So that's it is it is taking time some time. Uh, so now you can see uh, this is the stock model, right? If if you will run this program uh, in actual on your machine, so you will get this kind of this kind of marks on your job. So it will look like this. So now what we will do, uh, now you can understand that uh, there may be some material here uh, also uh, may be some material for rest wrapping. So you will create a rest wrapping toolpath with the small tool. So it will remove these all area, right? Yeah, if you, if, if you will give a direct finishing toolpath, then your tool will, uh, then your tool will uh, get uh, so much, so much load in this area and your uh, maybe your tool will break right uh, or you will not get the better finish so first we will remove this area by using master cam area roughing rest roughing toolpath so it will remove these all small areas so uh, we will we will uh, deactivate this stock model from here and we will we will go to the toolpath tab now uh, we will we will copy this toolpath this is area roughing toolpath so we will copy this and here we will paste it and simply in the same toolpath we will give rest wrapping toolpath we will go to the parameter and simply we will change the tool first we will change the tool uh, we will use flat end mill that's fine we will use 5 mm of end mill so uh, it will cover all the ma all the minimum areas overall length 50 next so you can you can give the field rates as per your tool grade and material hardness and here I will go to the stock and here I will say rest material and here I will select this is very important so here you have to select here you have to define that uh, in in which reference of the stock model in which re, in which stock uh, uh, stock model reference you have to create the rest dropping toolpath so simply you can select the last one uh, we have created this one last one for uh, after after this roughing toolpath so we will select that the stock model and here you can define the ignore small curve that fine go to the cut parameter and uh, minimize the uh, step down we will make it 0.1 that's good because the tool is uh, very small otherwise it will it will take so much load on the material so uh, you can see we have changed some parameter so that's why uh, here it is showing that this is bad toolpath this is red red mark so now what we will do we will select here regenerate this toolpath so it will it will generate the toolpath and it will show you that uh, how it will remove the small materials from this model okay so as you can see a uh, program has been generated so this is uh, this is rest roughing toolpath so toolpath going in all that area where material was uh, where material was in the okay so you can see uh, okay it's looking good so i will show you the back plot So this is the rest of the toolpath. 